She made you see let a matata. Kiuno kina mwenye we mwenzangu inongo maya leo. Naona ni pararira. She made you see let a matata. Kiuno kina mwenye we. Kuna watu wasio tena maendeleo. Kuziwa na chuzi cha wauma. Kiswahili hiyo inatosha kuonyesha kwamba huyu msanii anatokea Mombasa kwa sababu ya Kiswahili changu mimi. Lakini upande wa Taarabu anasema Taarabu na yeshimu na mtu ambaye pengine atasema kwamba na tunaharibu mziki wa pwani atakuwa anakosea kwa sababu tuna mtindo wetu sisi kama hello 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 panobe mamitu Further down south the Kenyan coast are the Digo, who live in homesteads surrounded by cultivated fields. The Digo also inhabit the northern coast of Tanzania, and in Kenya, the community is largely Muslim and is the second largest of the nine Mijikenda sub-tribes. For the spotlight on the coastal music program, from Vuga in Kwale came the Ziggy Digi cultural troupe which performed, among others, A Poor Jilted Lover, a song based on a true story, based on the experience of the group leader, Matano wa Mwachiti. Nilikuwa na rafiki, lakini tukaendelea na rafiki wetu, nikafikia maali sasa majirani, ndugu zake, ama jama zake, wakawa nakata ule ushiki ana mimi na ye. Masa nikafikia maali mpaka mimi na ye tuka, tuka achana. Sasa ilikuwa kwa vile kwa sababu mimi ni mwimbaji nikaona sasa hii kitu nikaichora ikaja na hiyo picha kwa sasa hapa nimedhulumiwa. From Taita Taveta County came Gonda Yabarai Sanga, meaning the drum beats that shake the earth. from the Wataita community performed Kachumba Kazi, a celebration song performed at childbirth, child naming ceremony, weddings, and in the past to greet triumphant warriors on their return. It is performed in the Mwanzindika style, a fast-paced drumming rhythm using the large kapunde drums and the njuga, metallic rattles tied around the legs to enhance the music and dance. The Taita are traditionally known for their healing dances, pepo or spirit dance, to help cleanse those possessed by the pepo, the ancestral spirit. This is Taveta sub-county, the land of the Wataveta. Since independence, this community that mainly inhabits the area between Savo National Park and the slopes of Mount Kilimanjaro has been classified together with their neighbors, the Taita. Jamii ya Wataveta iko katika Taita Taveta County. Ni kabila dogo tu 
na wataveta na wataita ni watu tofauti kabisa hatuelewani kwa lugha lakini tume, tunaishi kaunti moja kwanza kikundi hiki kilikuwa ni mambo kwanza kulikuwa na mambo ya ukimu ukimu ulivotokea hivi tukaanza kuhamasisha watu kuhusu ugonjwa wa ukimu tunaenda tukiwafundisha kuwaelimisha vile kukaa manake ugonjwa ni mbaya huo hauna tiba na pia tukawa tunaenda kwa mashule pia kufundisha watoto mambo ya culture utamaduni wetu utamaduni wa mtaveta the Taveta land and people won brief international attention during World War I when German and British colonial forces fought for the possession of this strategic position known as Salaita Hill. Taveta ndiyo mahali waliona mambo makubwa ya vita vya kwanza vya dunia. Kwa sababu ndiyo mahali Mjerumani na Mwingereza walikutana macho kwa macho. Remnants of the bloody war, including this watchtower and open trenches, are still visible to date. Siati tulikuwa kwa wachache. Wengi waliuawa na vita hivyo. Wengi walitoroka taveta wakakimbia wakakimbilia milima kama ya Usambara Tanzania huko. Luoro Cultural Group is reviving the Wataveta culture through traditional songs and dances. Strangely, they do not include any instrument in their singing like the rest of the coastal communities. moto ya kuwa tulipoenda Nairobi sasa ni lazima sasa tuandike tukisoma tunajua tunasoma tunatoa nyimbo design gani ili tupate kuiregelea ile ile lakini hatukuwa na mfumo huo safari yangu ya Lyon silinipa faida kubwa sana ya kutambua eh, different cultures ama tamaduni tofauti tofauti na pia kupata fursa ya kuchanganyana na jamii tofauti tofauti na pia kupata pia publicity ya eneo lile la Nairobi huko mbele ni kidogo unamwangaza sio kama zamani maana kwa sababu ilikuwa nikiimbia hapa hapa tu katika wilaya hii yetu ya Kilifi au Malindi tu sasa nikujumu lakini sasa nikaona kwamba kuna upanuzi fulani maana kwa sababu sasa nimekwenda nime kuimba hata katika city ambayo ni jiji kubwa la Nairobi kaida yake ndio kwenda tulikwenda tukarekodi pale Ketchebol kidogo yani ndio tulipata faida na kujulikana Napendekeza kama kuna uwezekano wa kupata wafadhili ambao waweza kusimamia shughuli hizi haswa za upande wa mziki hapa pwani yetu ya Mombasa ili waweze kuzihifadhi na kizazi vinavyokuja viweze kujua na hiyo ni mmoja katika kama mila zetu za Kiswahili kama wana pwani mimi naamini kama mziki wetu uko juu uko juu sana lakini uh, watu wa kushika wana pwani mkono ndio hamna tunahitaji festival ambayo itakuwa ikifanyika kila mwaka Mombasa hawa na mziki wa kutoka Taita washuke Mombasa sawe kila mtu alikuja na alikuja kweli na moto wake sababu ukiangalia wewe wa konde alikuja akapiga mwanzele kaja mtoto wake badi pia alipiga ile tunaita modern chakacha ama modern tarab waboni walikuja kwa hivyo ni watu tofauti tofauti na mitindo tofauti tofauti
Spotlight on Kenyan Music project was launched in 2005 with the support of the Embassy of France and Total Kenya and in collaboration with Kenya's Ministry of Culture. Over 2,000 individuals have been auditioned all over the country. These include distant places such as Moyale to the north and West Pokot to the west. Through the six Spotlight on Kenyan Music compilations, Volumes 1 to 6, featuring 70 individuals and groups, the music series has provided a unique medium for the exposure of the country's rich musical diversity. This music is born of a cross-pollination of traditional and contemporary rhythms and serves to promote the living and evolving expressions of Kenya's diverse communities. The project will continue identifying opportunities to promote Kenyan music that is rooted in the country's musical heritage. Pera <laughs> 